Elvis Presley will likely be remembered as the single most popular entertainer of our time. The kind of mass adulation Elvis enjoyed necessitated nothing less than royal protection befitting the king of rock and roll. Ed Parker headed up the celebrated contingent of palace guards whose sole responsibility was to protect Elvis Presley from the hordes who merely wanted to touch their idol and those who hoped to harm him. An internationally known karate expert, Parker was associated with Elvis over 17 years, from 1960 to the superstar's untimely death in 1977. According to Parker, protecting Presley was a non-stop job. It is extremely difficult. I remember one morning at 4 o'clock in the morning, because that's normally when we traveled around town. We came up to a stoplight, and right alongside of us, some wise guy said, oh, Elvis Presley, you know. I have a feeling to smash you in the mouth, something to that effect. Well, we pursued this individual and attempted to <laughs> sideswipe him to get down and see what he could or couldn't do, you know. But he gets it all the time, you know, all the time. Some threats against Elvis reached more critical proportions. One of the tour before the last tour when we were in Florida, we were told that uh, there was a nationalist group that was attempting to kill Elvis, and they felt by killing him, they could then uh, blackmail other entertainers into paying them large sums of money. So there were many times they had bomb threats, but he just went on and he said if, if he was to be blown, you know, we did take precaution, but if, if it had to happen on stage, what better way to go than to go in, in that manner, you know. Though Elvis died a little over four years ago, Ed Parker remains sentimentally proud of the way he and his people protected Presley. I just think that uh, some of the Secret Service could have learned a lot from us. Not me per se, but the things we did and how we protected Elvis, the decoys we used. And uh, it's, it's hard you know, not to miss Elvis.